Hello, and welcome to TechBoost TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a processor into a dual processor Dell Precision 7820 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and making sure the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will need a Torx head screwdriver. The 7820 workstation can support one or two Intel Xeon scalable processor family CPUs with up to 28 cores per processor. Compatible processors are listed on the screen. To begin, Ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side and remove the panel to reveal the interior. Remove the air shroud to gain access to the heatsink. Using a Torx head screwdriver, unscrew the four screws holding the heatsink down. Once it is unscrewed, remove the heatsink and set it aside. To install the new processor, take notice of the directional markings on the processor and make sure it matches with the corresponding mark on the motherboard. Gently place the processor inside the socket and ensure a snug fit. Now apply a small pea-sized amount of thermal paste on the processor. It will spread out once you place the heatsink on top. Line the holes on the motherboard with the screws on the heatsink to secure the heatsink to the motherboard. To install a second processor, you will need a riser board to attach to the motherboard. Simply follow the same steps we went over for the first processor in order to install the second CPU on the riser board. Begin by removing the shroud protecting the riser board expansion slot. In order to fit the riser board in the system, you will first have to replace the original heatsink with a shorter one designed for dual CPU configurations. Plug the fan into the motherboard. Next, install the metal bracket and use a Phillips head screwdriver to secure it in place and place the new processor cover in the system. The riser board fits directly on top of the first CPU. Press down and then push the lever down to snap it into place and add the second CPU air shroud. Lastly, reattach the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, RAM, hard drive, and video card installations, as well as general product overviews for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy requesting more content.